the shooting guards finish up right now. And one of the names that we're locked in on, number 23 out of Kentucky after just his freshman year, Archie Goodwin. Jay, when he came in out of high school, I think they were expecting him to be a point guard. We know this season did not live up to expectations. I talked to John Calipari. He said whoever voted us number one in the preseason should be drug tested. But I don't think they expected to be this bad a Robert Morris loss in the NIT. What happened with Archie this year? I think with Archie, I found out something very interesting with him. A lot of players have the skill set to be a dominant player, but I don't know if they necessarily possess the, the mentality to persevere and be that dominant player. And for Archie Goodwin, there were times where you just you, you felt that he was going to take over a game and then he just disappeared. And I don't know if it was too much pressure on his shoulders considering the year the team had before. Um, but when I think about Archie Goodwin, I think he has a skill set. He possesses all the qualities you want in a prototypical NBA shooting guard. I just question his mentality. Well, well, let's take the bad first. I almost think he needs to be a point guard because he is not a good shooter. 27% of his jump shots behind the arc. He made 27% of his jump, jump shots inside the arc. He's a terrific athlete, a great end-to-end -end slasher. And here's another thing, guys. He may end up being the youngest player in this draft. Mm. So you're talking about a development pick. And let's say the guy averaged 14 points a game in the SEC. The biggest thing, Chad, is he, he just can't shoot the ball right now. You know, John Calipari compared him to a young Russell Westbrook when he brought him in. And Russell Westbrook couldn't shoot the ball either. But that quickness end to end, He's a very creative finisher around the basket. He contorts himself in the air in a number of different ways. I just feel, Jay, you're exactly right. He, because his jump shot wasn't falling, he lost confidence in his game, and it started to affect everything else that he did on the court because there was that looming issue that he would have to stand up and take a jump shot, and then it wasn't going to go in, and there was a, a, a string of how many games, Fran, where he did not make a three. Uh, for Kentucky and I, I think it messed with his confidence but he is a young player and he can grow and developmentally he can get there and I'm right I, I, I agree with you Fran probably a point guard in the Russell Westbrook mold now I'm not saying he's Russell Westbrook but that no. type of point guard is who he might be two three years down the road Tom yeah you and you when you're in a front office this is something you really dig into because it's blue chip talent that didn't play out the way you thought and you got to figure out why and then somebody's going to take a swing at it and take a shot at it because a different change of scenery it's not just going to a different college it's going to a different league a different style a different system becoming a pro and the blue chip talent that underperformed is one of those assets you can get and develop and you have a stud a few years out so when we talk about potential in the draft there's these bucket of players who sort of disappointed wherever they were and you know there's a handful of those guys in this draft not as many as usual my, my only concern is this I, I I feel like John Calipari among NCAA coaches always gets his players to improve I, that's one thing I've, no matter who they are no matter whether they're blue chip talent you watch them after one year in Kentucky and you say this guy improved this thing I did not see that from Archie this year the shot selection was as bad at the start of the season as it was at the end of the season the reads were as bad the jump shot was as bad he was almost exactly the same player that he was when he came in and that scares me a little bit because I don't believe John quit coaching last year and I'm, I'm going to disagree with you I'm going to disagree with you because I think John is a great coach but there are certain guys, Chad, and he's got a couple on his roster right now that don't like being yelled at or demanded. Now, I, you, I'd send my son to play for John in a heartbeat because he's going to get the most out of you. But it doesn't always click with every single player. And as Tommy said, you may have to look into this kid's background and say, look, you know what? If we coach him a certain way, there may be more upside. Not every I've seen John coach for 30 years. Not every single guy can buy into how intense he is. And this could be one of those rare guys that didn't buy in like everybody else did. Hey, let me fit in right between you guys on this one. The only two players I saw in Kentucky that improved this year, Nerlens Noel and Willie Cauley Stein towards the end. Everybody else has kind of dropped off. You think about some of the other names. Alex Poitras, another name that was potentially a lottery pick last year because he came out of high school.